Well, what have I got here today? I have been collecting some uh, wrappers from flower bags and also from sugar bags. I've also collected some little bits and bobs to do with baking. And I've got to the point where I'm ready to assemble my journal. So let me show you what I've done. I've taken some of these self-raising flower bags and I think I've put two together so that I had plain on the one side and the other. I've stitched them rather than having masses of glue. And then I've used some cupcake holders which I've also stitched down because they've got a slightly waxy finish and I just wasn't sure the glue was going to hold all the way. Um, I've taken a book page and I've done some napkin decoupage on there and I've also stitched that on simply just because I like the stitching. And then I've used some stencils and some gesso just to make marks on here. I haven't really played around with colour other than just to spritz a little bit of colour on the one just to see how it worked, but I will come back to that. Then I've made seven different signatures, just again using things like self-raising flower bags. I've put inside there some, um, this is just baking paper that you get when you're using things in your oven, some plain paper, some tea stained paper, bits of old diaries, um, an old tea bag that's been stitched on. And so I have carried on. Here's one made with a sugar bag. And the pages at this stage are all pretty plain, but they've got different things inside all of them. So some of them have been tea stained. Some I've just used a little bit of stencils to mark them, but just to give them the initial sort of surface on which I want to work. Now when I'm working I prefer to work with my things flat because sometimes I'm working with paints and I don't want to constantly be having bulldog clips to hold pages open. So I'm going to try and do a technique of being able to slide my signatures in and out of my book so that as I'm working with them I can just put the rest of it aside. So what my plan is today um, when I've just completed this, is, oh, I'll go through these when I've finished the whole book. So what my plan is today is to be able to strengthen the spine of my book so that when I am uh, attaching my signatures that the paper here is not going to tear. And the way I want to construct this book is slightly different. I want to have them all lined up here at the spine. And then you'll see that they've all got these lovely colours on the edges from the cupcake holders. And I want to have a slightly offset spine so that I do see a little bit of the colours poking through. So probably a bit like, like that. So I see a little bit of the red and the purples, a little hint of yellow, some more red and some purples. So that's what I'm wanting to do. So now I have got my plan in place. I have also printed out a sentiment which I've just glued at this stage onto some book page and then onto some decorative paper. I think that was just an off cut from Daphne's diary. And then this is just onto the end of a flower bag. Um, because this sentiment is going to be what strengthens my spine and it just says baker's gonna just bake, just beat it. Um, I'm concerned that if it's bending that these might lift up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run around the edges here with my sewing machine, run around the edges here and then I'm actually going to stitch this onto my cover so that it will become nice and flexible but it will also give me the strength that I need for being able to insert my signatures. So let me just nip off and do that and I will be back. So I'm back from my sewing machine and I have stitched that on and I'm actually really happy with it. It's got quite a lot of red in the middle, which is rather nice. So let's see how this is going to fit together with my signatures. If I put those in there. Oh, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. And now because I have the stitching, it's formed quite a nice place for it to fold. Whereas if I hadn't stitched, it was going to actually just lift up, even though it had glue underneath. And I love the way I can see the little cupcake holders on the side. Great, so I'm ready for the next step. I have um, some nice red raffia. I'm just going to get that out and then we will start to assemble it. Well, I've managed to get everything together now. So each of my signatures are bound together using this three-hole pamphlet stitch. 
and then I took my red raffia and starting holding the end on the outside I wrapped it over eight times because I've got seven signatures and I wanted one extra on the inside then I've secured it at the top and at the bottom here so that I now have a nice little handle which I'll be able to use to um, pick my book up and my sentiment pops up nicely there and at this stage I think I'm going to just thread a few little beads onto here and I haven't found them yet so I'm going to leave the tails but what's actually happened now on the inside is that you'll see that I've given myself plenty of flexibility here to be able to add in as I'm working on my journal some ephemera because I wanted to be able to expand but as I'm working on each signature I will be able to just simply find the center of that hold on to my piece of raffia which is my binding and then all my pages will stay intact because they've already been bound together and I will be able to splatter things on here work on different pages without actually affecting the rest of the journal and then when I'm finished it's just a question of popping this through the loop and sliding that together so here's the beginnings of a cookbook <laughs> or a baking book and um, I'm really not a good baker myself although I do train people to bake um, it's fine but there are some really flop proof recipes which I have and I've picked up some wonderful ephemera and things so join me as I start to work on this journal and we're just going to say baker is going to bake just beat it and that means beat up the eggs and beat any fear and anxiety you might have but I love the fact that I've now got a little handle that I can pick this up with I love the fact that I can see all of these things and I has a, haven't even inked up any of the edges yet so this is still pretty much a raw raw journal ready to be made up so thank you for joining me today and um, watch out for the next in the cooking journal series or the baking journal series. Bye for now.